our solar system to scale. From our place on planet Earth, looking up to the stars doesn't always reveal to us the true magnitude of space. The universe is extraordinarily large and can often be as difficult to understand as the extraordinarily small, like quantum physics. Both of these are beyond our human experience. In this activity, we are going to find out the true scale of our solar system, how big are the planets, and what are the distances between them. Let's find out more. For this activity, you'll need one long strip of paper and a pen. Mark one end of the paper as the Sun and the other end as Neptune. Now pause the video and with a pencil mark in where you think the planets should lie. Fold the paper in half and make sure to really press down on the crease. This will be important for the next step. Open it back up and the crease that you've just folded is where you'll place the next planet, Uranus. Again folding from the Sun to Uranus and mark this as Saturn on the crease. Then again folding from the Sun to Saturn and this time Jupiter on the crease. Once again folding from the Sun to Jupiter marking Mars in between. This pattern continues, folding again from the Sun to Mars, this time marking Earth, that's where we are in relation to the solar system. Then again folding from Sun to Earth and marking Venus. We're getting very close, it's getting a little bit squished. And again folding the Sun to Venus and this time we're marking Mercury. Here we have a scaled distance of our solar system. It mightn't be as you expected. Things are certainly more spread out, further away and squished nearer to the sun. How does it differ to your original guess? In the bio below you'll find a link to a sheet in which you can make your own scale of the planets. Simply follow the diameter on the sheet using balloons for the biggest planets, Saturn and Jupiter, tinfoil for Uranus and Neptune, and blue tack for the four smallest planets. Now if we were to double the size of the planets and combine that with the idea of the distances, let's take a look at how far apart the planets would actually be spread. To understand this scale, we'll be using Dublin City. And we can see here we're zooming in on Ireland and Dublin and you can see the Sun, the centre of our model as it lies in Trinity College Dublin's campus. At this scale the Sun is about 3.1 meters in diameter and the planets are twice the size of the worksheet we looked at previously. In the background you can already see the orbit of Mercury it lies only 130 meters from the Sun. Beyond that we see Venus 240 meters from the Sun and on O'Connell Bridge 330 meters from the Sun lies Earth. In real life the orbits are not actually as circular but merely demonstrate the average distance that the planets are from the Sun. So far we're very close to where we began. Now as we zoom in to Mars, we're 510 metres from the Sun, close to the spire, still within city centre. But to see the next planet we have to zoom out. This brings us to Jupiter, 1.73 kilometres from the Sun. It lies in Croke Park. Again, zooming out to see the next planet, we see Saturn's orbit, 3.19 kilometers from our start point at the Sun. Saturn lies in the Botanic Gardens. We're slowly getting further and further away. 
As we zoom out, we can begin to see the orbits of the last planets, Uranus and Neptune. Zooming in, we see Uranus 6.39 kilometers away from the sun. It lies in Santry Park. And again, to get to the last planet, we zoom out. Getting closer to Neptune, we see it lies in Dublin Airport, 10 kilometers from our start point in the college where the sun lies. Keeping in mind these planets are still very small compared to their actual scale. And as we zoom out over the full solar system, we see that in fact the four closest planets to the Sun are squished on top of each other, barely distinguishable from one another. The planets are not spread out evenly as you might expect. We hope this has given you a clearer idea of the true distances of the planets and an idea into the vastness of our solar system and everything beyond. Thanks for watching and subscribe.